What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video, and we got some breaking news. The Buffalo Bills have just traded Stefan Diggs, their number one receiver, to the Houston Texans. Yes, not technically Jets breaking news, but a divisional move has a major, major impact on the New York Jets and the landscape of the 2024 AFC East. We're going to get into all that. So the Buffalo Bills trade Stefan Diggs, a 2024 sixth round pick and a 2025 fifth round pick to the Houston Texans for a 2025 second round pick. I was absolutely shocked to see the return that the Buffalo Bills got for trading Stefan Diggs. This just goes to show you that it is a buyer's market on the trade market as proven by this Diggs trade to the Texans, the Jets being able to land Hassan Reddick for a 2026 third round pick. It seems like every single time we see a big player on the trade block and not even that Stefan Diggs was on the trade block, but it's all, you know, fans are like, oh, that guy's going to go for a million high picks. And then that is almost never the case, except for maybe the Jamal Adams trade, which is still just absolutely bonkers. But to talk about what the Buffalo Bills are losing, Stefan Diggs has been excellent for them over the last four years up in Buffalo. He's coming off a down season, by the way, in what was his worst season in Buffalo. He had 1,183 yards, so essentially 1,200 yards, eight touchdowns, and 107 receptions. That's unbelievable. He's a one-time All-Pro, four-time Pro Bowler in each of his four seasons in Buffalo. The Texans are going to be a major, major problem in the AFC South. Holy smokes, is Houston going to be really good next season? But for the Buffalo Bills, I mean, there's no matter how you slice it, Buffalo Bills have gotten worse this offseason, and this is a huge, huge blow to the offense. Obviously, the Buffalo Bills are going to be a team that's going to draft a wide receiver in the first round. That could not be any more obvious as they've now lost their number one receiver in Stephon Diggs and their number two receiver in free agency, Gabe Davis. Looking at the rest of the wide receiver room, you got Khalil Shakir, Curtis Samuel, who you signed in free agency, Justin Shorter, Mac Hollins, Andy Isabella, Tyrell uh, Shavers, KJ Hamler, Brian Thompson. It is not a very pretty wide receiver room as is, but if you add someone like maybe it's a Brian Thomas Jr. or a A.D. Mitchell or someone is going to go there to Buffalo in the 20s uh, in the 2024 first round. But right now, not a very good looking wide receiver room. Granted, they have two very, very good tight ends that they're going to use. Uh, Dawson Knox, Dalton Kincaid, both those guys I would imagine are going to be major, major parts of of the Buffalo Bills passing attack. And looking at what the Buffalo Bills lost this offseason, again, a lot, a lot of change. Stefan Diggs, out the door. Jordan Poyer, gone. Tredavious White, gone. Mitch Morse, gone. Gabriel Davis, gone. Tyrell Dodson, gone. Leonard Floyd, gone. That is a lot of shakeup. A lot on the defensive side of the ball, but again, you, you lost your two starting receivers, you know, two of your top receivers. And granted, I'm sure they probably would have liked to upgrade over Gabe Davis, but Stefan Diggs is a, a bona fide number one receiver. And even in a down year, had 1,200 yards and eight touchdowns. Granted, Josh Allen is a top five quarterback in this league. We're going to see how much of an impact that Stefan Diggs really had on him. His first two years in the league without Stefan Diggs were a little bit rocky, still great with his legs but left a little bit to be desired as a passer. Get Stefan Diggs. His game goes to another level, but he's been a great, great quarterback in the NFL over the last four seasons, and we'll see going into this year what kind of effect this has on Josh Allen. And I'm not going to say Josh Allen's going to go back to being like the 25th best quarterback in the league. That's absolutely silly. But I think it's a legitimate thing to talk about. The Buffalo Bills, who have won the division in the AFC East, for the last few years, yes, they're the team that's done it the most you know, recently and have had that success, but are they still the best team in the AFC East? I'm not sure. I think the both the Dolphins and the Jets have better rosters right now than the Buffalo Bills. Now, granted, the Bills have the best quarterback, so quarterback matters the most, but it, it, it's... I don't think this is the same team that's run through the division the last few years. And I really think that there's a chance that 
11 wins probably is good enough to get you that division crown. And I think both the Jets and the Dolphins have a really good shot to win this division. This is a New York Jets channel, so obviously the focus is going to be on the New York Jets, but it's important to talk about things that happen in their division because it has a direct impact on what could happen in the Jets 2024 season. Is it a guarantee that the Jets can win the division this year? No. But is there a realistic path to the Jets winning this division? Yes, it's not that outlandish. It's really not. I think Buffalo is going to take a step back this season. There was a, obvious signs of them taking a step back this past season. Miami crapped the bed down the stretch last year. Miami's, they're a, a good team and are going to be in the mix, but in, until they consistently beat good teams, there is always going to be something, you know, this cloud hanging over their head. And what's their ceiling with Tua? They have some question marks. So there's a there's a real path to the Jets actually being a team who could win their division in the AFC East in 2024. And this move for the Buffalo Bills only makes them worse. Yes, they're going to add a receiver in the draft, maybe multiple. But to expect a rookie wide receiver to come in from day one and produce at the level that Stefan Diggs, Diggs has done over the last four years, that's wild. That's not going to happen. Let me know your thoughts down below on the trade and how this impacts the New York Jets. Subscribe if you're new. Give a like before you go. I'll catch you next time.